Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool photo collage effect in Final Cut Pro 10, or more like kind of like a photo stop motion effect. This is a really cool effect that I kind of recreated. I didn't completely come up with this idea. I kind of found a whole bunch of different videos, and I basically just wanted to recreate the effects. Um, that they made and it's without using any videos. It's just using photos, which I think is a really really cool effect So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of break down frame by frame. I'm not gonna go ahead and reconstruct this um, Because that would take like over an hour, but I kind of want to first go over the video um, where, I, where I got kind of the the idea from I mean pretty much the exact idea from and then I basically just recreated it But I'll go ahead and play it right here. I'll see if I can find I'll go ahead and basically I'll sh see if I can find um, I'll go ahead and maybe scale it out a little bit, see if I can find the user, okay, the, there's the username right here. As you can see, there's the username, so I want to give him, um, just on Instagram, I just want to give him the proper credit, because I don't want to go ahead and just say that I came up with this idea, um, completely myself. I'll go ahead and play it right here. These are like three separate videos right here, but this is literally where I got the idea from, and I basically just recreated um, the effect and if you're wondering or you don't know how to recreate the effect basically what I did was I, I took the video right here his video and then what I did was I just went ahead and turned the opacity to all three to uh, the top videos all these top photos down to 40 so I can basically just reconstruct um, his effect so if, you're ever, so if you're ever wondering how do I if I want to recreate a video reconstruct it that's how you do it right there just turn the opacity down and you reconstruct it. So yeah, obviously I didn't come up with this. I just kind of wanted to recreate this really cool effect. So let's head over to the example that I made right here. And again, I'll go ahead and play it. And this is what it looks like. Basically what I said before, I'll go ahead and just kind of go frame by frame, kind of show you how to do it. And obviously you don't want to you know, recreate the exact same effect, but should hopefully give you some really cool um, ideas. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So let's go ahead and what I want to do right here, if you want to mute the video, I'm just basically going to keep repeating the settings uh, with the scale and rotation. So if you want to just mute the video and just keep on watching it, uh, without the volume, uh, go go ahead and do that if, uh, if that's what you want. Basically what you want to do is I'm just going to go frame by frame and I'm going to stop every time I get to a new clip. As you can see right here, you can see the uh, scale change, you can see if there's any position change, and then you'll see if there's, only a, if there's, a, if there's um, any effects. Basically just an effect, scale, and position change. I don't think I changed the rotation at all. So let's go ahead as you can see right here, here's the scale position, here's the first clip. So let's go one, two, right here, and I just added a black and white effect right there one two right there so we hit position scale we'll go one two three four five right there so you can just see the, the scale just went up a little bit so then we go one two and pretty much nothing really happens with this clip um, right there so I'll go ahead and play it right here so then we go right here um, I mean basically what it has I had a flip effect um, change the position and scale so one two right here and this is what it looks like right here just a normal clip so we'll just go one and then we'll go one two three four five right here a new clip and then just add a scale and position right here go one and then one two right here and then I just added a flipped effect right there that's all I added for this one right here so we'll go one two three and then we'll go right here as you can see I just changed the scale and position I added this really cool animated paper background so we'll go one two right here that I added the um, back photo right there and then I went one two right here and this this photo right here is just the middle one right here so keep on going one two three right there and then that one disappears the, the uh, the top one disappears and we'll go one, two, the middle one disappears and then you just have the normal photo. So we'll go one, two, three right there. And then you basically just achieve the same effect. They all come on at the same time. We'll go one, two right here and then we're back to normal. Um, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then basically this really cool color effect. All I did was I just took a mask, a draw mask, cut out Patrick Mahomes and then moved the position over a little bit. I didn't make a, like a super precision cut. I, the, the person when he did this, didn't do this, did the same idea where he didn't do a, a super precision, a precision cut. So that of course, you know, is depending on you. So we'll go one, two, three right here, another one right here. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're on to the next clip right here, the next segment right here. 
So we'll go one, two, three right there. One, two, three, four right here. And then we'll go one, two, three right there. And now you create this really cool, like the multiple frames effect. One, two, three, four, five, six right there. And now you have it completely fill up the screen. Um, this one right here. So I'll go ahead and just change it right here. So the scale is at 100. This one's at 90. And this one is at 75. So we'll go right there, one, and then one, and then one, two right there. Now we're back to normal. So then we'll go one, two, um, three right here. And now basically it's just kind of getting smaller. One, two, three, four, five. It just keeps getting smaller and smaller. One, two, three, four and then one, two, three, four right there. And now you create, then we're on to the next portion right here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five right here. One, two, three, um, four right there. Now we have another um, one picture right there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we'll go to the next one right here and this basically just scales up. So go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then, uh, four and then we'll go one two three four right there and then we'll go one two three and now we're on to one of the next segments right here so we'll go one two three four right there and that one is just you know back to normal one two three right there and this is just like a normal photo right here so one two three nothing changes with this photo right here and then we'll go one two three four five six this one this photo just gets bigger one two three four gets smaller and then um one two three four five six seven right here eight right here and then there we go basically this is a compound clip where you have one uh two photos one's on one side one's on the other side one's black and white and it basically as you can see i just use the crop tool to split the colors you can use a draw mask if you want to but it's just two photos and this one right here i just added a flip effect um right there so i'll go like this we'll go one two three four five six right here just got bigger and then we're gonna go one two three four five um six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty that's definitely a really long time to hold a photo um but that's just what he did so then we'll go one two uh, uh three four just change the position now it's back to normal one two three four five and then now it, went, now it went down to the normal size and then one two three right there and there you go that's how you create this really cool effect i know it was you know very repetitive over and over and over um kind of just, just mentioning the scale and position but i kind of want to really break down that effect kind of frame by frame so you kind of see um what the effect looks like so it's definitely a really cool effect so there you go now i just kind of went frame by frame you obviously don't want to create exactly what he did or exactly what i did i just again wanted to just break down his effect and show you a whole bunch of different ideas on how to create this effect and maybe you've seen some of his videos before and you want to know how to create it i just saved you about three to four hours of work to go ahead and just recreate it hopefully one two three four of these ideas um inspire you maybe all of these ideas um but this one i think is probably one of my favorite ones that the cutout one right here this is probably my favorite segment right here with a uh, the multiple frames effect then he gets cut out that's probably my favorite one i think for the most part i think it's really cool to scale it up and scale it down scale it up scale it up or change the position basically what it does is it just animates the photo it looks a little bit cooler than just having a photo just pop up on screen you could also add a paper outline which would definitely look um a lot cooler but there you go that's just really really cool um a photo collage slash stop motion effect in final cut pro 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 190 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 effects, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description below. And then I also will have an annotated card so you can go ahead and check out that playlist. So this channel is all about Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, and effects and transitions and plugins so if, you re if you're really into Final Cut Pro 10 then I definitely encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button anyways see you in the next one peace